The Mueller liar illusion. The Mueller liar illusion tricks your brain into seeing one line as longer than the other. But look again, overlay them, and they match exactly. Why does this happen? Your brain interprets the arrows as depth cues, like corners of a room, making one line feel closer and one farther. Why does this illusion work? In contrast, the inward arrows mimic the inside corner of a room, making it seem like the line is coming toward you. Even though both lines are flat and the same length, your brain treats them as if they exist in the 3D space. The cafe wall illusion. Look at these lines, do they look straight to you? They seem to slope up and down, right? But here's the surprise. They're perfectly straight and parallel. This is called the cafe wall illusion. It happens when rows of black and white tiles are slightly offset. The contrast between the dark and light tiles confuses your brain. Your mind tries to connect the pattern, but the edges don't line up. So your brain twists the image to make sense of it. That's why you see the straight lines as slanted. But it's not your eyes. It's how your brain fills in the gaps. It's just another way your brain can lie to you without you even noticing. The Ames Room Illusion. This room looks normal, but something's off. One person looks huge, the other looks tiny, but in reality, or they're the same size. Here's what's really going on in the Ames Room. From above, you can see the room isn't rectangular at all. The back wall is angled and the floor and ceiling slant up and down. But when you look through the peephole at the bottom of this diagram, your brain thinks it's seeing a normal square room. That's because the peephole forces you to view the scene from one fixed point where all the angles appear correct. So even though these three people are the same size, they look completely different. The person on the left appears huge. The one on the right looks tiny. The spinning dancer illusion. Watch closely. Is she spinning to the right or is it the left? Don't be too sure because the truth is she can switch at any moment. This is the spinning dancer illusion. A simple silhouette, just black on white. But here's the twist. It's just a flat image. There's no real spin, no real 3D. Your mind is filling in the motion, and sometimes it gets it wrong. You might see her twirl one way, then suddenly reverse. And no, there's no trick or change in the image. It's the same all along. The illusion plays with your sense of depth, not direction. That's what makes it feel like magic. Which way do you see her spinning? The checker shadow illusion. Look at this image. Square A looks dark. Square B looks light. But here's the shocking truth. They're exactly the same color. This is the checker shadow illusion created by Edward Adelson. The Kinesa triangle illusion. Look at this image. Do you see a white triangle? Most people do. But here's the twist. That triangle doesn't exist. There are only three Pac-Man shaped circles and three V shapes. Your brain fills in the missing edges. This is called the Kinesa triangle illusion. It happens because your brain loves complete shapes. So even when parts are missing, it imagines the full triangle. The Herman grid illusion. Look closely at this grid. Do you see faint gray dots at the intersections? Now focus on one of them. It disappears. That's the Herman grid illusion. It plays with how your eyes handle contrast and edges. It's just how your vision works in the background. The illusion reminds us. What you see isn't always what's there. The motion after effect illusion. Stare at this for 20 seconds. Don't look away, just focus on the center. Now, look at something else. Does it seem to move? That's not your imagination. It's the motion after effect. It happens when you watch motion for too long, like a spinning spiral or flowing water. Your brain's motion detectors get tired from all the movement. When the motion stops, those detectors keep firing. So when you look at something still, your brain makes it look like it's moving in the opposite direction. This is the same effect you feel after watching waves or getting off a treadmill. The world keeps moving, but only in your mind. The Penrose Triangle Illusion. This triangle is impossible. 
At first glance, it looks like a solid 3D shape. But follow the edges. They bend in a way that defies geometry. This is the Penrose Triangle, also called the Impossible Triangle. It was first created by Swedish artist Oskar Reutersverd, then popularized by Roger Penrose in 1958. The illusion works by tricking your depth perception. Your brain tries to see it as a real 3D object, but the angles just don't make sense. Each corner connects logically on its own. But when you look at the full shape, it breaks reality. It's flat, it's fake, but your brain wants it to be real. That's the magic of impossible objects. They force your mind to believe the unbelievable. The Ebbinghaus Illusion Which orange circle looks bigger? Most people say, the one on the right. But guess what? They're exactly the same size. This is the Ebbinghaus Illusion. It works because of the circles around them. On the left, the orange circle is surrounded by large gray circles, making it look smaller. On the right, it's surrounded by tiny gray circles, which makes the same orange circle look larger. Your brain compares the sizes relatively, not absolutely. It doesn't measure the orange circle directly. It judges it based on what's around it. That's why in design, art, and even life, context changes everything. Hit subscribe for more Illusions Explained.